everybody watching. Uh, kind of different video today. We're gonna do more daily content out here on Pendridge Creek Farms. Uh, we've been making videos where we get a bunch of footage, wait months to finish the project, and then post it. And it kind of just, it takes forever to get content out, content out there. And then uh, you guys are commenting saying, hey, where's the update on this? Hey, I wanna see more of that. So we decided, well, we do things out here every day anyway, so why not just film it? So Dad is putting a Dan user hammer on the end of the excavator. We're fixing to pound some posts in the ground. We've been working uh, the past couple weeks putting in some posts, six by six by eights for a four board fence. So that's what we're about to do. We might get into something later. Y'all just stay tuned and watch throughout the rest of the video. What y'all think of the fence? Right by the trophy pond. We only got one up so far. But here is the fence line. We have 62 down, six by six by eight, two foot in the ground, eight foot apart. Uh, they turned out pretty cool. As Hunter told you, we're fixing up, hopefully get finished these 18 other posts we got. And I thought I would add in some dialogue, just kind of tell you what we're using, why we're using it, uh, you know, how we, we got to the hammer uh, here. But uh, we, we had so many posts put in and we did not want to auger and concrete. Uh, these are six by sixes. We're using six by sixes because we want a good looking full board fence. And, uh, and we just couldn't stand the thought of having to do 80 the old, old way. I had a customer, uh, Dan user, friend now really, and he, and he mentioned the hammer to me. So I said, well, let me look into it. Uh, 82,000 pounds of driving force. We got the optional 500 pound weight, the grapper, the tilt mechanism. Uh, and so we've been able to drive these six by sixes that you don't cut them and pull on them. You just set them on the ground and you drive them. Uh, I could not be happier with the hammer. It's, it's probably, well, it ain't no problem. It's overkill for a single user like us to spend the money for it. But after the fact that we've done these 62, I believe it is, I can't imagine not using it or something like it. Now we can rent stuff and borrow it. I'm just not high on that. Well, after the price of concrete too. A absolutely, you can factor in what it would cost in bags of concrete, as Hunter just said, uh, mumbling there in the background. But you can factor that into the cost too. I think we figured up it costs about $1,800 worth of bags of concrete. And so that, then we have more, more projects to do. Absolutely, we, he says we got more projects to do. We got a bridge down here. We're gonna to attempt to drive some 20 foot pilings in. We got some other gates, uh, shoot houses, elevated shoot houses. We're gonna put some six by sixes in the ground for them as well. But uh, before we end up uh, just chit chatting about the hammer and just kind of tell you the other piece of equipment that we're using on is our KX57 instead of our skid steer. Uh, we already had this adapter plate that adapted from the 57 to a skid steer mount that we had for an auger works great and for this particular project we like it better because we got 10 12 feet in between the cab and the hammer to be able to see and operate versus a skid steer kind of right up in your face now i'm sure a skid steer uh use of it will have its have its place but we like it uh and all but it's it's really a two-man operation uh, trying to get everything plumb making sure the the hammer's on the post straight and then the posts are straight in the ground too. Got to have a level as you see it in the video. But uh, like I said, we really enjoyed the hammer and uh, can't imagine doing this without it. Let's do 18 more and finish it out. Yeah, let's get these 18 done and get out of here. Number one, he's going to use the uh, grapple to pick this one up. This one's a 10 footer, I believe on the very end. Huh? Got it. What's up? Huh. You see all these peas? Huh? Lady just stopped and gave us some peas, make about four bags of Ziploc. I always get off to the side and make sure he's level left and right on my way. Then he always makes sure he's good his way. Yeah, you're good to go. Yup. Yup.
Tilt forward. Uh-huh, pull back. All right, hit it. First post done. Took us four and a half minutes once we got everything set up and rolling. You suck. You suck. Wait, backwards, backwards. My wrist is tired from doing that. All right, you're good. I try to make sure he's straight up and down, and then after like one hit, it'll go haywire. He'll go forward or back. Go back. All right, all right. I think it's because he's having to tilt forward and go down with downward pressure as it's hitting. So he wants to go forward. We're constantly, I'm constantly tell him to go backwards. I don't think that'd be the case on the, on the skid steer. But this definitely made it easier using the excavator, being able to go sideways. Back. You good? We just got done putting in the post over at the camper shed, and now we moved on to a little something at the tractor shed. A couple of weeks, I was able to come in here and uh, pull back some dirt off the pond edge here and uh, smooth it out. There was a bunch of bumps. Uh, when you were fishing, it was annoying. When you're cutting the grass, it was annoying. Uh, so now we're doing some finishing touches. He just did some touching up with the section harrow. I put the Colty Packer on the M4, uh, and then he's got the M5800 with the spreader on the back. And I think we're about to put out some millet, maybe some Bermuda, I'm not too sure. And uh, might throw some triple 13 on top, but might do that in a couple weeks. But y'all watch and see. How much? You got it? I got it. White Pristol millet. Nice. Can't go without the diet do. If y'all never seen one of them spreaders before, it's a land pride. Um, the bottom half shake seed and it is awesome. Yeah, this is gonna look good. I have a, I think he's two and a half foot, maybe one and a half foot baby gator out here. I'm gonna call him my pet. Legally, he's not my pet. Uh, he kind of just showed up. I'm sure he's eating some of our fish, but I don't mind it, he's cool to hang out with. I'm gonna show a little clip what happened the other day while we were fishing. He kept bothering us, so we just started having fun with him. Uh, but he's safe inside this pond. I'm surprised I hadn't seen him yet. I mean, look how far we are away from the bank with him. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> Yeah.
You sure you want me to do that? Huh? You sure you don't want me to do that? No, try to stop me. You heard it from him. I offer, he don't let me do it. One of the biggest updates you guys were commenting and asking us about was the duck hole. So I'm going to make my way over there and uh, kind of fill you in on what's going on and uh, why haven't you seen any videos yet. I just pulled up and I scared off a deer laid under them acorn trees right there. Uh, all this greenery you're seeing is nothing we have planted uh, this year. Uh, we haven't built the road up. Uh, we did take out the other berm though uh, that was there from last year. Uh, you really can't tell right now, it, it looks really dry, but once you get off right past where he tilled a couple weeks ago, it's pretty moist. So we hadn't had the opportunity to get any machinery uh, inside of it yet. I'm kind of disappointed. I wish that Mother Nature would cooperate uh, and then we could have that berm going from way back there all the way up this road and all the way down. So this whole area would be flooded. And it's probably the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us on the farm. We're gonna get better at these videos. It's my first ever vlog and dad's too. Uh, we're used to doing how-to videos on our other channel, Hunter Works, uh, where we have one specific topic or you know, projects out here, we have one specific build. But uh, we want to do this, and we hope we're going to be um, uh, enjoying it as much as you guys do, because uh, we do a lot of things in and out and every day, and this might make it easier. So y'all just stay tuned and look forward to the next video.